Right now, Baltimore City firefighters continue to battle hot spots from a massive warehouse fire in South Baltimore. The four alarm blaze engulfed the building in flames and sent smoke billowing into the sky over the city. WJC is live in Brooklyn. Kimberly Eaton is on the scene with the latest on the progress firefighters are now making. Kimberly. And Vic, tonight finally is somewhat of a break for firefighters. For the last 16 hours, we've watched them up on these ladders here behind us, pouring a steady stream of water onto this burning warehouse. And they will still be here in this neighborhood overnight, making sure the fire doesn't kick back up. Smoke started filling the Baltimore sky before sunrise. And well after sundown, it's still billowing out of the shell of a massive warehouse in Brooklyn. Outside, one of the walls that didn't collapse reads the name of the business. But inside, images from Sky Eye Chopper 13 show complete destruction. When you see it still smoking like this, what's your reaction? <sighs> it's crazy. Sirens tore through Wanda Blazer's neighborhood before 7 Monday morning. More and more and the helicopters and everything like that. That's when more than 100 firefighters from Baltimore City and Anne Arundel County started their attack, scrambling to contain the flames that ripped through the 94,000 square foot building. Challenged not just by its size, but also location. That it's so deep back into this industrial area that it's difficult to get as close as we would like to get to to put heavy volumes of water on it. A fire that quickly went to four alarms, fueled by toys, clothes, and packing supplies inside the warehouse. Now it's all been drenched in water for hours. The flames knocked down, but smoldering. Just trying to contain it, and hopefully we'll be able to, to get it out. But it's going to take time. It's going to be a very labor intense type situation. And firefighters tell us that no one was inside the building when the fire started, and there have been no reported injuries. Reporting live in Brooklyn tonight, I'm Kimberly Eaton, WJZ Eyewitness News. Kimberly, thank you. At this point, there's no word on what caused the fire.